This Bible in a Year reading is from the book of Exodus, chapters 3 and 4. Meanwhile, Moses was tending the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian. Leading the flock beyond the wilderness, he came to the mountains of God, Horeb. There, the angel of the Lord appeared to him as a fire flaming out of the bush. When he looked, although the bush was on fire, it was not being consumed. So Moses decided, I must turn aside to look at this remarkable sight. Why does the bush not burn up? When the Lord saw that he had turned aside to look, God called out to him from the bush, Moses, Moses. He answered, Here I am. God said, Do not come near. Remove your sandals from your feet, for the place where you stand is holy ground. I am the God of your father, he continued, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. The Call and Commission of Moses But the Lord said, I have witnessed the affliction of my people in Egypt and have heard the cry against their taskmasters. So I know well what they are suffering Therefore, I have come down to rescue them from the power of the Egyptians and lead them up from that land into a good and spacious land, a land flowing with milk and honey. The country of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Girgashites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. Now indeed the outcry of the Israelites has reached me, and I have seen how the Egyptians are oppressing them. Now go, I am sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? God answered, I will be with you, and this will be your sign that I have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will serve God at this mountain. But said Moses to God, If I go to the Israelites and say to them, The God of your ancestors has sent me to you, and they ask me, What is his name? What do I tell them? God replied to Moses, I am who I am. Then he added, This is what you will tell the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. God spoke further to Moses. This is what you will say to the Israelites. The Lord, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever. This is my title for all generations. Go and gather the elders of the Israelites and tell them, The Lord of God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, has appeared to me and said, I have observed you and what is being done to you in Egypt. So I've decided to lead you up out of your affliction in Egypt into the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Girgashites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, a land flowing with milk and honey. They will listen to you. Then you and the elders of Israel will go to the king of Egypt and say to him, The Lord, the God of the Hebrews, has come to meet us. So now let us go a three days journey in the wilderness to offer sacrifice to the Lord, our God. Yet I know that the king of Egypt will not allow you to go unless his hand is forced. So I will stretch out my hand and strike Egypt with all the wondrous deeds I will do in its mists. After that, he will let you go. I will even make the Egyptians so well disposed towards the people that when you go, you will not go empty-handed. Every woman will ask her neighbor and the resident alien of her house for silver and gold articles and for clothing, and you will put them on your sons and daughters. So you will plunder the Egyptians. Chapter 4 But objected Moses, suppose they do not believe me or listen to me. For they may say, The Lord did not appear to you. The Lord said to him, What is your hand? A staff, he answered. God said, Throw it on the ground. So he threw it on the ground, and it became a snake. And Moses backed away from it. Then the Lord said to Moses, Now stretch out your hand and take hold of its tail. 
So he stretched out his hand and took hold of it, and it became a staff in his hand, that so when they will believe that the Lord, the God of their ancestors, the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, did appear to you. Again the Lord said to him, Put your hands into the fold of your garment. So he put his hand into the fold of his garment, and when he drew it out, there was his hand covered with scales, like snowflakes. Then God said, Put your hand back into the fold of your garment. So he put his hand back into the fold of his garment, and when he drew it out, there was again like his own flesh. If they do not believe you or pay attention to the message of the first sign, they should believe the message of the second sign. And if they do not believe even those two signs and do not listen to you, take some water from the Nile and pour it on the dry land. The water you take from the Nile will become blood on the dry land. Aaron's office as assistant. Moses, however, said to the Lord, If you please, my Lord, I have never been eloquent, neither in the past nor now, that you have spoken to your servant by I am slow of speech and tongue. The Lord said to him, Who gives one person speech? Who makes another mute or deaf, seeing or blind? Is it not I, the Lord? Now go, I will assist you in speaking and teach you what you are to say. But he said, If you please, my Lord, send someone else. Then the Lord became angry with Moses and said, I know there is your brother Aaron, the Levite, who is a good speaker. Even now he is on his way to meet you. When he sees you, he will truly be glad. You will speak to him and put the words of his mouth. I will assist both you and him in speaking and teach you both what you are to do. He will speak to the people for you and he will be your spokesman and you will be God to him. Take this staff in your hand. With it, you are to perform the signs. Moses returns to Egypt. After this, Moses returned to Jethro. His father-in-law said to him, Let me return to my kindred in Egypt to see whether they are kindred. They are still living. Jethro replied to Moses, Go in peace. Then the Lord said to Moses, In mighty and return to Egypt, for all those who sought your life are dead. So Moses took his wife and his sons, mounted them on donkeys, and started back to the land of Egypt. Moses took the staff of God with him. The Lord said to Moses, On your return to Egypt, see that you perform before Pharaoh all the wonders I have put in your power. But I will harden his heart, and he will not let the people go. So you will say to Pharaoh, Thus says the Lord, Israel is my son, firstborn. I said to you, let my son go, that he may serve me. Since you refuse to let him go, I will kill your son and your firstborn. On the journey at the place where they spent the night, the Lord came upon Moses and sought to put him to death. But Zipporah took a piece of flint and cut off her son's foreskin and touching his feet. She said, surely you are a spouse of blood to me. So God let Moses alone. At that time, she said a spouse of blood in regard to the circumcision. The Lord said to Aaron, go into the wilderness to meet Moses. So he went, when meeting him at the mountain of God, he kissed him. Moses told Aaron everything the Lord had sent him to say and all the signs he had commanded him to do. Then Moses and Aaron went and gathered all the elders of the Israelites. Aaron told them everything the Lord had said to Moses, and he performed the signs before the people. The people believed, and when they heard that the Lord had observed the Israelites and had seen their affliction, they knelt and bowed down. Thank you for listening. God bless you, and I love you.